few years ago, I released for the first time the Notion template, The Great CEO Within, that is based on Matt Moshari's method and related book that is called The Great CEO Within. Over time, Notion has developed many new features and I've been adapting the template to evolve with the Notion app and to take advantage of those new features for fitting everything and making as much as possible useful for CEOs using this template by yourself or with your team. So in this video, we're looking at the latest updates that I've made to the template so that you can also discover some new features that Notion recently launched and maybe take inspiration in terms of how you can design your own Notion system or you can find the template linked in the description if you want to get it right away. Let's take a look at the updates to the template. The fundamental design principle of the template is that it's quite minimal so you can quickly access all the key systems that are in the way of the Notion template and each system is now updated with the latest features that have been released from Notion. So for example, if I open OKRs, you will now notice that there is more documentation here. Um, I'm using the colored block to have these nice borders without any background color. Then there are headings inside and you can exactly understand what each component is about. And if I open the OKRs dashboard, for example, this is objectives and key results. So I can set both my personal objectives and key results, but also company-wide OKRs. And in here, you can see there are some charts so this has been a recent addition to Notion. And these charts are getting data dynamically from the databases in the OKR system. So I can see the current objectives by area in here. I can see the active key results by owner. So this can be particularly useful if you use this system collaboratively with other people. And you can see objectives by status here in a donut chart. And then down below, I can see all the areas for quick access. So I can quickly access areas and I can also apply a template if it is not already there, so that the area page becomes a dashboard with all the objectives, all the key results, and all the wiki documents related to that area. On the right hand side, there are client objectives, and here are some buttons that allow you to quickly create a new objective as well as to view all the objectives, that is, opening the master database of objectives. And buttons as well is a relatively recent addition to Notion. And so over time, I have been updating this template and all the other templates that I offer either for free or for a price because Notion is constantly releasing new features. And so to make the best out of them, I constantly update the templates. Down here, there are active key results and also buttons. I also made a video about the full OKRs template and that you can find linked here or in the description of this video. When it comes to the GTD system, here as well, there is a first dashboard that allows you to also visualize charts now with tasks completed by week, particularly because it often can become quite overwhelming to just track tasks and never look at how many tasks you complete over time because they might get lost in the daily overwhelming nature of having many tasks and juggling many projects. So that's why this chart can provide a bit of perspective in terms of the completed tasks over time. And then there are tasks by status, so these are all the tasks in a donor chart broken up by status to see how many of them there are and the overall percentage in their status. And down below that is the task inbox. So that is based on the GTD framework that is getting things done by David Allen. You will also find here documentation about the system as popularized by David Allen. You can see projects to review today on the right hand side. These are based on the review frequency of projects that is part of GTD and uh, that is part of the weekly reflection and planning or weekly review in GTD. That is also another system that is part of the great CEO and that I've recently updated with the latest features. Always on the Jeep system dashboard, you can see the active projects down here where each project is a page, which is a quite typical nature of Notion where I can expand that page. I can see the properties at the top. So these are metadata. You can think of them similar to columns in a spreadsheet. And then down below, there is a template or the page body where I can add any type of block typing the slash command here to see all the blocks available but it's not necessary to customize it much unless you need specific features because the template is already built in the system and it is applied by default and if it is not applied by default you can always select it on the page down here when the page is empty and the template contains the description of the project that allows you to explain better what the project is about and is helpful to define projects particularly if you collaborate with people but also for yourself if you use the system by yourself to specify exactly what the project is about and what the definition of done. So when is this project actually done? What success looks like? What failure looks like? And here you can add quick links to relevant resources and links. And then there are all the related tasks for that project. And finally, always on the dashboard, you can see the high priority tasks and other tasks. These are different views in here that allow you to visualize tasks in the 
way that you prefer really based on what you want to look at and priority is set based on a property that is called high priority and it is a checkbox and uh, this year as well Notion released Notion Tasks that is a sort of special kind of database that then pulls data in the home on your Notion workspace and so I've updated the task database to be a tasks database so if I go to customize tasks I can see that here I have the tasks database and I can undo it if I want but in this case I think it is useful although you might want to use home if you like it I personally do not use it in, in its current state it is not that useful because you can't really create many views or some properties are not displayed or displayable in home so that's why I prefer to use the dashboard and that's what this dashboard is about for now but in the future if home improves or if you already like it as it is then you can already use tasks from the GTD system in the great CEO into your home in Notion directly as it is. And you can also find in the wiki reflection and planning here is a wiki. So here I can undo the wiki, but the wiki is a hybrid between a page and a database. So I can visualize pages both in a database format like here, that is a list view of the wiki reflection and planning database where each page is expandable. And then at the top, I can see the properties horizontally laid out, which is typical of a wiki, at least for now. And then down below, that is the dashboard that is meant to be a step-by-step -step process for your weekly review. Your weekly review is a ritual that you do once a week. It can be as short as 15 minutes, as long as one hour, depending on how in-depth you want to go. I personally quite enjoy it. So my weekly review lasts about one hour every week. And this is composed of a reflection part where you look at the past week, what got done, what didn't get done, do a bit of reflection, look at the projects, look at the tasks, and then you plan forward there is the planning part of the weekly review where you look at all the unprocessed tasks, all the tasks that are open, the projects that you're working on and uh, the meetings that you will have going on every week, the upcoming week. And then you plan those things, not too rigidly, flexibly. Uh, but this section of the weekly review process or ritual is meant to be your way to bring awareness to what's going on and uh, steer your upcoming week in the correct direction, at least intentionally speaking. Then, of course, things will arise. That is quite natural um, as part of work, particularly if you are working in a startup. There are going to be unpredictable things, and that's okay. But the key thing of this is that you know exactly what's going on in your life, and this can create a greater sense of calmness in your life. So over time, as you do your weekly reviews, you will find all of them here. So this can become useful also as a life review tool, because then when you have many months and many years of weekly reviews and planning, you can see patterns maybe in your journaling that you do if you do it as part of the process and on the home page as well this is a, a structured page but there are the exact same pages here and you can quickly create a new page via this button i also recently created a video that goes in depth into the weekly reflection and planning updated template and that's it for now i will continue updating the template both in this template and all the other templates that i offer as new features come out you can find all the relevant links in the description of this video for now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.